up, YouTube? Mr. Lamancy here, and today we're going to be continuing our Hell Boazon guided playthrough. This is the physical Boazon again. So we've been using multi shot, we've been using guided arrow. Um, you potentially have been using strafe. Again, strafe's not terrible, and now it has a nice DPS boost. So, you know, maybe we'll look at even shifting into it as we move into Hell, um, just to mess around a little bit. But it's been a lot of fun. Um, it's been a, a new, unique take challenge in uh, Diablo 2, and I think, again, this is the stuff that's really fun to me. This is why I come back to the game, because I can play a character like a sorceress or, you know, a druid or assassin and play, like, traps and all, all these elemental, like, easy kind of builds, you could say. Easy. I mean, they're still tough in their own right. Or I can play these, like, completely different, having to use the... Um, you know, having to use the attack rating and having to use all this, um, and it's been, uh, yeah, it's just been a whole fun little experience. So, let's dive back into it, and we can show you guys everything. I'm going to go back to Nightmare really fast, because, um, I want to show again, I'm only level 57, and there's a few things here, right? Let's go over our stats and gear first. So, stats, skills, gear. Here's our stats. 121 dex right now. 60 strength. This is the base values. Obviously, some boost from equipment. Rest in vitality. And a little bit in energy there. Um, we've maxed out penetrate. We've got a couple points into pierce. Four points there. A couple points into critical strike. One point into dodge, avoid, evade. And then we've maxed out Guided Arrow, and we've started with a little bit. We, you know, we've put some points here into multi-shot, but obviously every point is more mana cost. Again, Strafe is interesting, um, because it does have all that damage boost, uh, and the attack rating boost on it. Guided Arrow always hits, so you don't have to worry about it for that. Um, but I do think Strafe would be solid, um, you know, overall right here. For our gear, we have Insight still in this double bow. I really want to find ourselves a blade bow. We had, we looked at bows before. Um, getting this up to an elite bow would be really nice. We still have a pretty basic helmet. Honestly, it's probably at the end of its life, and it's time to replace this as we move into Hell. I have a three open socket right here. Um, and so I can make myself Thal Io... Uh, what do I need? Shale. I need a shale rune, and I could make myself uh, a hearth. I also have this if I wanted to make a bulwark for my mercenary, which could be a nice helm for him. Um, but either way, I could also just go Ral or Tal into this helm, and that would probably be really good as uh, just getting some resistances. Not Tal, sorry, Ral or Thal. Um, just getting some resistances is quite nice. Now you can see I do have a little bit better cold res, so I might even want to go Ral or Ort or Ral or Ral. Um, regardless, that'll be something we can look at on Hell. We have Bahamut right here. It has been giving us a lot of mana, but it's probably time to swap back into this. I also have a 14 all res um, amulet, which is nice with the magic find. But this is 71 resistances between light and fire. Um, so we are done with the mana. This is just so much right here. That's just so helpful. Um, and that'll be a big boost, obviously, for our resistances going towards hell as we need to start focusing on, focusing on those. We have peace right here. We have dual Saigons. This gives us that 30 IAS, which is absolutely huge. Thanks, fish. Um, 108 to attack rating with some nice little stats, 109 to attack rating with 2 dexterity, and then the 10 all res and some strength and dex from our tier haunch. So honestly, not bad at all right there. Um, we also have some more charms that we can drop in for some resistance. Uh, again, we can look at if there's anything, yeah, maybe we just use the charms because resistance is important for us right now. And yeah, so we are at Nightmare. I'm only level 57. At this point, I would definitely say if you want, you can continue to go and farm, right? You can head out here and you can continue your farming 
and just leveling up. Right? Should we give it to mercenary? I mean, it's not bad, but he's got smoke, so unfortunately not. Otherwise, it's kind of fun. The 40% chance open wounds is, is pretty nice. Okay, so we have that. But additionally, now that we've killed Bale, we also have opened up Terror Zones, right? And this gives us a whole nother world that we can go into, which is the world of getting zones raised to uh, our level here. So if you find yourself with a really good zone, don't be afraid to, to use that zone right there. Have a nice time and just... Go to town because there is a decent amount of experience that you can gain obviously just being in these areas because it will put it at your level plus two and i believe it goes up to level 72 um in nightmare something around there so lots of experience that you can gain by just running around and killing the stuff out here as well um but, again, it just depends on what you want to do for your uh, leveling, right? So, like I say, we're, we're slightly underleveled here at level 57 for heading into hell. It's really not horrible. Oh, it's 71? Okay. Um, but, we're going to go into hell anyways. So, let's take a look at our resistances. We are minus 2, 1, and minus 23. Now, cold res is not nearly as important for us as fire and lightning, um, and a big reason for this is lightning. You have things like souls. You have beetles with their charged bolts. Um, anything lightning enchanted is every time you hit it there, it's releasing those. Um, the fire, you have the fire enchanted explosions and just, you know, the fire breathers from Act 3 and Act 4. But cold, you really don't have too much. You have like the ice mages of skellies that'll shoot, you know, some cold shots. You do have arrows. Um, from those some of those archers that can be cold which can be rough, but it's just not quite as harsh So I am going to look right here and at least go or row 2831 I mean that's honestly probably good enough. I will throw the thole in there It was uh, you know something that we, we could have decided going the other way, but I think having all of my res um, right there is is nice enough. So now we are in hell. We are in Act 1 hell. And we can start looking to kill stuff as we want. You'll see some things take a little bit extra to kill. Uh, zombies, for instance, are pretty like high with physical defense. So we're not going to really fight the zombies as much, right? We'll go ahead and go after some quill rats. Oh. Ooh, I did not expect that death. I'm tired. That hurt. What killed me? Good lord. Welcome to hell. Now we need grief on Bo. It'd be nice. I was like so busy focusing on his life, Just I didn't... Like uh, death. It was very similar. I was not focused at all. All right, whatever. Starting it off hot. So, anyways, you can kill as much or as little as you want. Of course, um, you can go and farm tower. That might be something that we do a couple times with this build. See if we can pick up a cool rune. And you can see that we are struggling a little bit with our mana. Um, and this is just an unfortunate... Oh, Jesus. There is a blade bow. Let's see what we get. Pretty nice, actually. 189 ED, 111% damage and attack rate to undead. Unfortunately, while it is more damage for us, we'd be losing so much attack rating putting it on. It would just not be worth it. So. Plus, we lose all the mana regen. But you can also see we're starting to miss a few of our shots now. Part of that is attack rating, but also we are just... Uh, spider bow. 
we are just a little bit of a lower level, right? We're only level 57. So this is where really taking your time, leveling in, uh, if you want to do Den of Evil, you can. Leveling in Nightmare is a good idea, right? It's always, always good, especially with these physical characters, to over-level a little bit. Many runes for this build needed. I mean, at this point, you know, we, we can kind of go forward with it and just see what we can get. Like I said before, I would love to get, like, a Hustle. That would be really nice. I also don't have my mercenary resurrected at the moment. Um, I, I can. He will probably die pretty quickly, though, unfortunately. But, you know, his little boost wouldn't be bad either. It's his aura, but I just don't see him surviving very much at all. He doesn't have the lifesteal there, I don't believe, anyways. So, yeah, it was a trade-off losing all that resistance, but probably a, a pretty necessary one, unfortunately. Or with the mana, just so we could get the resistances there. So, I'm just kind of casually killing along the way, as again, our main idea is we do want to get um, to probably the tower, at least, to start. Now... Whenever you see a shrine like that, you can always go back and uh, just make yourself a perfect gem we've talked about before. I've got three amethyst already. I'm gonna go ahead and grab a ruby. We'll make ourselves a perfect ruby. And remember, this is the best place to get yourself a uh, perfect, or a gem shrine, is the stony field. So there is a lot of experience tied up within all of that. You can see how well our Valkyrie can handle it all as well. It's kind of crazy. So we're just gonna try and lay as much uh, into that as possible. We probably won't kill every single monster in there, but we'll kill a few. Skeletons though, and all sorts of good stuff. Really nice, so should be able to level up here. Perfect. Okay. Let's go ahead and grab a point in strafe. We can we can give it a try. As we start to like level it up, it doesn't fully matter, you know, we're, we're still pretty invested, so honestly, that's probably a wasted point. But that's okay. And we'll go ahead and go with dexterity again because getting our chance to hit up really is quite important. We just want to make sure we keep that up. You can see I apply cold, I apply poison, I, I hit them and knock them back. All of that, and if I'm not doing those things, it's going to be tough. Even one point in strafe should be interesting, though. Let me... Yeah, I mean, the, the damage on it will be nice. But, having to stand there the whole time is kind of annoying, actually. So that's, that's the biggest thing I, I hate. I don't get to just, like, shoot it off once and then call it good. Right? If I could do that, it'd be great. But I have to sit there and go through every single one of them. And that's tough. Not enough IAS. I mean, my IAS is all right. It's all good. Mana, rejuice, mana, rejuice, healing. Perfect. All right. So, 
A lot of stuff to gain experience on. A lot of monsters here. And thank God for that peace proc. Have I thought about crafting knockback gloves yet? Well, I have the dual Saigons, which has 30 IAS. So it's really hard to think about, like, crafting a glove that's going to end up better for me. You know? Maybe out here is where we start launching our strafe. Even then, hard to hard to say if it actually is working much. That's okay though. We're getting good experience still, and uh, you know that's what we definitely will want on this character. Just having more experience to be able to kill more things. But yeah, peace is peace is pretty godly for us. Being able to to create that Valkyrie. So, if you do not have peace, I would recommend putting some points into Valkyrie. That's probably something I didn't say really before, um, just because peace is so, like, automatic with it. But shifting over, having, you know, this maxed, this maxed, and then just working on maxing out your, your uh, Valkyrie. And that's potentially something we'll do here if we can work our way into, like, a Hustle Rune or something. Um, because I'm not going to really care to keep the hustle that much, um, or to keep peace really at that point. And losing the Valk would be rough. Bozons are kind of underwhelming. Oh yeah, totally. Totally. But that's, that's the beauty slightly. You know, I say beauty. For some people, it's their personal hell. Um, but to me, like, that's the beauty. Really something I love within the game. And it was something I was talking with Riker about. Riker loves... He was like, I wish every build was S-tier. And I wish every build was, like, you know, within 5% or so of each other. And that's a totally fine, like, opinion to have, right? Like, that, that's how he wishes... You know, things were with, with all builds. I I like having your A tier, B tier, C tier, etc. I, I think that's a really, like, fun and interesting... I need a Valkyrie spawn. I think that's a really fun and interesting way because it makes it so playing through the game with a different character just has so much more value to me. I think I should play D4 despite not liking the game. It's not I don't like the game, it's just I don't... Ooh, hello. Well, that's interesting. That is very interesting. Pray for Eth. Scolders. You know. I, I find a ton of value and fun in having to, like, not steamrolling with every single character and, like, having to, you know, non eth. Still. Alright, so we have Scolders now, which is interesting. Obviously, for general wear. It's not going to be amazing. It's not beating peace in any way of that. Whatever. But 72 MF is quite nice. Um, and this could totally be an armor that I could throw on and go farm Mephisto and Dariel. Um, you know, whatever with all of that. And that'd be really nice. Now, I do still think there's a few ways they need to improve characters. Mostly melee, you know, physical characters that use attack rating and that's just the chance to hit formula needs a little bit of um help but besides that i still do love that there is a variety to the characters you know and how they play through the game and their their relative strength and stuff like when i played d4 my favorite character still to play through still was the barbarian and everybody hated it because they were like, the Barbarian is not as strong. 
And it was like, yeah. That's alright. I love it. It was super fun. Like, I had a, I had a blast playing the barb. But, you know. I just did not. We have a gothic bow. So again, we can start taking a look. Let's go look at all of our uh, bows. Let's take a look again. Oops, right here, right? So we have the spider bow, but it only gets three open socket. The blade bow is our, our desired bow. Max four open socket, so you can make a new insight. Good speed on it, requirements aren't bad. Great bow has high strength. So that one's a little rough, um, but would be not bad. Shadow Bow, five sockets max. So we'd have to find it at four. Diamond, Crusader, Ward, yada, yada, yada. We go to the exceptional. Gothic Bow is six. But it does have very nice damage on it. So if this rolled, I mean, the, the IAS is a little slow. Um, but if this rolled with, you know four sockets or something, we could definitely take a look at that bow for, for use. So always good to just have that handy, just so you can look around at, uh, you know, all the bows, all the things. Do I think D4 will be a big shot? After four to six months, what do you predict? They are really planning and pushing for the game to have a long life. Wow, 55 to mana. All right, that's really nice, because I, I need that. The problem is I'm running out of space in my inventory. I'm finding too many good charms. But that's huge. That helps a lot with our uh, issues there. So I think, I think it will do decently well. I think there will be enough people that the game speaks to that... They're going to, you know, have a decent time with the seasons, all this stuff. People will be coming back. I think I think there's plenty of opportunity there. Um, I still have, have to see a little more of, like, the game, the end game, all of that. There's still, you know, whatever pieces that Whoa. I am my own bit about Hades, not Denali, fish like to swim, thank you guys. Alright, let's see what we can move over. Uh, oh yeah, I mean that's nice too. So many of these charms are like really nice. Okay, we can move 1 to 18 lightning damage. I guess we can move, wait, we have two of these now. So that's good there and there. 10 light res, 2 dexterity. Probably beats out 12 life, 4 fire res. Okay. And then we'll move 3 fire res in. Okay. That's nice. Yeah, that's just like 55 mana right now is so huge for me. So. The, the thing is, my, my biggest question for... Not exactly for them, but for the, you know, the game, everything, just in kind of its own form, is going to be this. Will, let's try and get a mercenary. Will the game have the long-term fun, thank you, J-Dub, that it's going, that's going to really hold people? Because people are fickle. To, to say it, you know. And they love to bounce between their games very fast. And they're very quick to jump on and say, Wilson is the next big game. And then they're very quick immediately after that to say, no, you know, Lost, Last Epoch is the next big game. And then they're very quick to say, no, you know, whatever is the next big game. And, you know, they, they kind of bounce around between them all. I'm trying to think if I even do want to go with Strafe. I mean, it is nice damage. But I could also just, like... I'll upgrade Pierce another point. 
We'll, we'll hold off on strafe, really. So I think people who, you know, play Diablo 3 could potentially be the ones that really, like, jump over into it more. Um, I think playing through the game will actually be fun. Like, I'm excited to kind of play through D4. I think there will be a lot of fun playing through. But I, I do wonder, will, just again, will the end game hold in a way that's going to be, you know, that, that end game that everybody's looking for and all of that. And that's, you know, still where I think there there could be issue, but we'll have to see. So, I'd say overall, like, I am, I, overall, you know, the more and more through it and all of that, the more, like, positive I am on the game. It's just, I'm not positive on, like, people playing and sticking through it completely. I'm gonna go a little Dex and then a little Vita. It'll do fine, it's just will the game take over the scene and be, you know, a top 10 game on Twitch all the time and have, you know, all the people watching and loving and all of that, you know, like that's, that is the question. All right, I need to get a proc here. Let's try from this side. Even D2 doesn't have that? Well, of course D2 doesn't have that. D2 is an older style game and, you know, it's... Not going to have that. This is where having your own Valkyrie is helpful rather than relying on it to proc off piece. I might even respec into just having my own Valkyrie at this point. Because in hell she's gonna die more and it's just gonna be a, a whole thing. There we go, we got one. All right. Perfect. Yeah, so I still definitely have my concerns with certain pieces. I think, for instance, like the loot is going to be still, still a little troublesome and stuff. But I definitely gonna be room for it. I mean, the thing is, it's not like other games are really doing these things well nowadays. Oh wait, I had okay. I think that's a big piece as well. It's not like other games are actually crushing it right now in the scene and like you know, really doing well with how they handle loot and all of this stuff. Like, it's still pretty eh for a lot of those, so. Ow, that, that was close. And detour or something you find? What do you mean? I've, I've done full grail. All right, let's see what we get. Hell Io. Okay, I mean, I don't hate getting an Io rune. Okay. Don't hate it at all. Um, we can toss that. Go there. The one thing that killed D2 for you is basically how it's just a single player game. I mean, I really like playing it like a single player game, but I can understand. I do think there is 
Diablo 2 still is such a good like base framework. There's there's such an opportunity that they could really like make some cool changes to it. But they're they're gonna focus on D4, newer games, all that stuff. I think you do have such an amazing base though with this game. It's kind of a shame how it's you know not going to be used. Uh, yeah, you just need to have mules for all of them, Mugar. Wow, she is just getting smoked right now. So again, you don't have to be farming this at all. This is just like, and even like the tower and stuff, right? Like... I'm just kind of farming the tower for fun, just to see if we can snag that, like, pole rune, or find a lem rune, or a co rune, just because it would be awesome. Um, even a shell rune would be nice help out, but not required at all. Just something we're doing for fun. Yeah, the zoomed in camera is rough. Oh boy, don't I? Yeah, if I do like 50 runs, I'll find all those runs, you know. Maybe not the pole, but maybe. Regardless, we'll give one more try to it. Just because I'm enjoying the leveling up anyways down here, which is nice. I remember, uh, we are looking for that elite bow. As well. Now, we could go farm Nightmare Cows as well to try and get some cool bows. And this character would actually do okay in Nightmare Cows, so. You know. That's enough stuff killed. Let's keep going. Let's keep it rolling. Yeah, I mean, I'd say one of the most, like, disappointing things with D4 is that there is a lot of monetization thrown into it. Because I do think, you know, if it was just, like, one time they hit you for 70 bucks and you get to play the game, I think it would feel a lot better. I understand the idea with the live action and all of this piece and blah blah blah. You don't need to, to, you know, defend all of that to me. I understand why, but it, it isn't needed. You don't need to have the battle pass and make sure that you're, like, using all of the, like, marketing techniques within it. It's, it's that it doesn't even, like, it's not even just... A battle pass that has cosmetics or whatever, right? It's like a battle pass and you have all the tiers, but you can tier skip all the way up if you want to, like, pay extra on the battle pass. And then additionally, there is, uh, you know, like, in the, they're, they're like season-specific battle passes where you only can get this cosmetic from the season if you buy this battle pass here. Otherwise, you won't be able to get it. And so you need to buy it and then complete the battle pass or pay your way up the battle pass to get that cosmetic. So now it costs more. Coolie, what up? And then there's the shop and the shop tries to target you by looking at what you play, and then it'll only show you a certain number of items. And so you're having to literally either buy it or wait for it to rotate back around, which again is just like using that same technique. You know, it's like they could make it still like monetizing all the way, but not scummy, you know? But they've, they've done the monetization, 
And they've also then put in the ways that, you know, are, are just the, that annoying bit of it, right? That like, why? Why, do you, why does the shop need to rotate so that you're not always going to be able to buy that skin that you wanted? And, you know, so you can put a timer on it and say, shop rotates in, you know, 22 hours. Buy it now or you'll miss it. That's the stuff that I hate. Like, really hate. Stuff within the game, you know, okay, whatever you're doing it, you know, however you do it, cool. Like, fine, you want to do loot this way and legendaries that way and... Alright, cool. But, man, do I really dislike... So don't participate? Shh. I mean, that's the dumbest thing you can ever say. It's That's such a terrible argument that people use for everything. So just don't participate. Okay, cool. Like... <laughs> there's... There's, you know, my city has now put smoke shops and liquor shops and casinos all around everywhere that I go. Well, just don't participate in them. Just don't use them and then it's fine. Like, no, you just hate still seeing it. I literally hate having to walk past all this garbage. <laughs> it's awful. Ral Tal. Alright. Like, having to just exist and see all the garbage all the time is having to participate, you know? Right. Plus, it just gateways into further and further, you know, continuing, right? You can use that logic on uh, absolutely, like, anything. And then the world around you is just on fire and a horrible nightmare that you have to live in. But you're not participating, so there you go. No reason to complain. So, I just, yeah, the way that it got implemented was, was extra annoyance to me because it really was like, come on, man, you're not even trying to, like, put this stuff in the game, but, you know, okay, look, we need to have some monetization form of the game because of how much we're going to do with it and all this stuff, blah, blah, blah. But it's like, they also have to have all the the techniques in there as well. And that just is like... Just makes it feel like a mobile game further. Because that's what mobile games do, right? Every mobile game has every single technique psychological technique they can possibly have in there to make you feel like you need to put money in. Whether it's something like having the timer so that you feel like, oh, I need to get this or the deal's gonna go away, to having the 800% value, to having the um, something like, uh, you know, you play and you beat people and then they, you know, start matchmaking you against people that are a little bit stronger. So you'll start to lose more and feel like, why am I getting weaker? I could just spend a couple dollars and, you know, get a little stronger, etc. Right? It's all dark patterns that these companies have spent billions of dollars over years figuring out how to abuse your mind, get you addicted, get you in the door, and get you spending more money than you would normally be comfortable spending. 
And this is where they dedicate a lot of money. And it just, it feels gross. And again, mobile games do it because mobile games are gross. They have no morality, no whatever sense whatsoever. Mobile games are literally just, we shove as much garbage in there and people still play them and whatever and people just have accepted it. But PC games at least kind of had potential to not be as gross there. And so now Diablo 4... Oh man, what is this map? And Destiny and all of the whatever games that are doing it. Bringing it really in and pushing it hard is, is sad to see because it's like, oh... Now is the where we start to get that infiltration again. And it's just the slope where we know in a few years all of these games are going to really just be pay to win. That's just that's just how it's going to be. I'm sorry. I just refuse to believe that it won't they won't. Because it's just so easy to get a little more profit. Paladin, thank you! So much negative in this channel. I'm just saying, the reality of the decisions for having their monetization start to leak in with the ways that they have. Aren't they aware it's not a long term to make a good decision to make D4 pay to win? I don't think the game will be pay to win for a bit. And D4 itself may never end up pay to win. But, because they really said they don't want it to, and I do like the devs. I think the devs themselves are good guys, and they will, you know, try and keep that away from existing. But you can bet your butt marketing is trying to already push it, I would imagine. And, even if D4 itself doesn't become pay to win, the... Overall, I'm just saying overall, like, big store gaming. Like, the next iteration, Diablo 5 or whatever. By that point, I think pay to win will be so commonplace accepted. In you know, that's just what all the big box games are doing now, you know. Gotta be careful in here. Open the wrong door, you're dead. Because look at how much it's already leaked. You know? Let's go ahead and do more vitality. Look how much we went from games never having any sort of like pay for minute to having horse armor to all of grinds being taken away and now everything that you normally would have grinded for before by the way great place to uh farm again ramunda thank you ramunda gifted a tier one sub to norcor you know now all of that and now we have all the battle passes being placed into every single game Even stuff like Path of Exile, which again, I love Path of Exile. I think the game is super fun. But I really hate that, even though it's a free-to-play game, I really hate that stash tabs and stuff are purchased. You can't just, like, earn your stash tabs and all these things. The fact that people look at stash tabs and don't claim it pay to win. It's, it's okay not to win time to time. The, the point of, for instance, the stash tabs is not that I'm upset that I'm not winning because of, you know, whatever. Oh yeah, bosses are rough, by the way. 
It's that. We're going to put on our crushing blow gloves. And we'll go like that. It's not the piece of not winning in that way. It's pay to not suffer. Exactly. They intentionally make the game worse. So that you will either pay money to make it feel fine. Or you will just have to suffer through a worse experience. They created a problem and sold you the solution. That is why it is so annoying. And a lot of people don't agree. Zizarin completely agrees with me and he's got 20,000 hours in PoE, something like that. So we have our crushing blow gloves on just to help out a little bit because again and Dariel is uh quite annoying. You can play Path of Exile with the default stash tabs. This is everybody comes in here to defend them again, like it's some crazy thing, like I'm saying the game is unplayable without it. You can. But it's worse. It's awful, it sucks. I've played the game without currency tabs and all these tabs, and it just is a lot worse. And then they have it, but it costs money. It just, that's the thing. They, they have a solution, but they're not willing to just put the solution in the game to just make the game better. That's, that's not their... Their solution is pay for the solution. And it's sad that I too would pay at this point for a currency tab in D2R, just like I paid for a currency tab in PoE. So it works, but it still sucks and it still feels worse than, hey, why don't you just put the currency tab into D2R or PoE and then it's a better game and more people want to play the game now because the game is more fun. So... And again, y'all can y'all can disagree all you want. Totally fine. There is never a uh, none of my opinions here I think are absolute. Well, some of them I do. Two mal for one goal. Yeah, you're probably not going to get that. I should stream more for the same amount of money then? I uh, I don't get paid when I stream. I mean, I do just from you guys supporting me, but my stream is free to watch to anybody. And I uh, Twitch sets it up where, you know, you don't get ads. But I don't run ads on my channel. The only ads that you're going to see on my channel are um, the ads that Twitch forces which is the one when you come in I could push a button right now and play a bunch of ads in which case my stream would now be pay to win because well if you subscribe then you don't have to get those but okay, otherwise I can I have my baby back now please but I don't because I don't like making the stream pay to win <laughs> level 55 squirtle do it prove it no I'm not gonna be I'm not going to be coerced into making this a pay to win stream with that. Everybody gets treated equally, except the people I don't like. They get treated worse. Do 
So, Llama RPG is going to have no pay to win. And that includes no pay for cosmetics. S-U-B-C-E-M Da Bear, thank you! You're going to earn your cosmetics by killing things, fighting things, trading. Because I consider cosmetics also pay to win. And this one is my like crazy, you know, Llama's lost his mind to a lot of people. Do I prefer the stream labs or stream elements donations? Looks like a tough fight. They're so both Durielle equal, but worse. probably stream elements. I need my vegetables. But looking good is winning to me in a game. That's that's just me, man. I think looking cool is winning. Three hours later and Andy dies. Yeah, this character is not known for her boss killing speed. Am I still climbing? I'm going to be getting back into it soon. You have to buy the game to play it, so pay to win there. Sure, if that is the what you're going to determine it as, then yes, the game will be pay to win. <laughs> That'd be fun, Mark. I thought you were going to have a one hundred dollars whale hat in the llama store. It was a thought we discussed at one point, Ditch Boy. There was a point where I thought, all right, do I just allow people to buy cosmetics, but they could also earn the cosmetics, so it's not like the cosmetic only can come from money. But I scrapped it. I didn't like it. Instead, the pay to win that will exist in the game will be this. Number one, you can fight a monster who only can die to cash or credit. He doesn't drop any gear though, but he will give you a sense of pride and accomplishment. Number two, I'm considering that I will just add a world boss in that's similar to that. And the world boss will just have, you know, like $10,000 health. And uh, the everybody as a whole can kill the world boss. And when the world boss dies, then we release the next expansion or something. So again, nobody is getting any individual benefit. It's just like that is the kind of support it's like a kickstarter boss exactly that'll just be potential for like i say expansions of game um boop. andy almost dead world boss one shots you before you can swipe your card <laughs> get good And, uh, well, that boss wouldn't be put in the game until there is an expansion of some sort. <laughs> Ready. <laughs> and the third way will be probably some Kickstarter prior where you can, like, you know, get your name in the credits or name an NPC after you or something. Greetings. For supporting the game that way. Help design an item. Ooh, 175 poison damage. It's kind of fun. Duriel's gonna be very rough, yes. Act one is done. There's the clap. I mean, again, this isn't your Blizzard Sorceress. There will not be NFTs, no. Sorry to break it to you. All right, I'm gonna put this guy away. I'll go here. 
Okay, we did that, and arrows. But act one completed, and I think I'm actually going to go back to Nightmare and use my respec, as getting into Valkyrie will be really nice now. So let's go ahead and... I already respec'd? Okay, we'll go back to normal and do that respec. Major stuff is happening with Lama RPG lately. It is. Lama RPG has been uh, coming along real nicely. It's been great. All right, so we'll respec here. And let's go to heck. Okay. So, first things first, getting a little bit of energy, I still like the idea. So that's 15, I'm going to put 20 points into energy here, maybe 25 even. I definitely want to have a little bit more mana, plus the more energy I have, the better chance I have for my potions critting, um, which is nice. Obviously we want to make sure we have enough strength. And I want to make sure I have enough strength for my ultimate blade bow that I want to find. So let's go to elite bows. 76 strength and 119 dexterity. There's also potential that we get like a diamond bow. So I'm going to go up to the 90 strength. Let's see. This is 5 to all attributes from insight. So we'll go to 94 strength with that. And that should be good there. We'll jam up our dexterity here. Um, 132, base 120, that covers the blade bow. That covers, so our blade bow is covered, plus we have enough for a um, diamond bow here potentially as well. And if we want, we even have ward and crusader bows that we could work our way towards. Let's go ahead and go up to 150 decks overall. And then we'll put rest into vitality. Now, for here, we'll go one point crit, one penetrate, one pierce to start. Um, point, 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 point. I'm actually not going to do the strafe. We'll leave that alone. And point, 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 point. Because we're, again, going to be going into Wind Force here. So we can go ahead and max out Guided Arrow. That is going to increase our multi-shot damage. Um, I'm going to put a few points into multi-shot. And we'll definitely... Let's go ahead and max Penetrate. And the rest of our points... One to pierce, that's 50% chance for pierce, and the rest into Valkyrie, so we can resummon this Valkyrie. And our multi shot is only at 8 right now, but I think that's uh, kind of okay. Okay. Because it'll be less mana cost, which honestly is going to be very helpful for us. Down 30 cold damage to death. Oh my gosh, that's so good. So now we can summon ourselves a Valkyrie. She's not that level 15 exactly, but she is level 12. So that would be good enough that it's great because we can always just resummon her whenever we need. And sometimes we'll still get our priest pro procs, which will get us a slightly better one for a short amount of time. Also, the less mana cost here I think is going to be beneficial for us. No Radiment quests. We could do Radiment if we wanted, but... Ow. Oh, okay, 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 okay. We have to be careful as there is conviction there. And that does hurt a lot. Also, with the cold and everything, it's just going to be a little painful. But, there's also some okay experience if we can get these guys to work for us. Okay, so we'll set a decoy here as well. 
And being frozen does suck a little bit. Hopefully, uh, we can find our way a little bit to get some canopy frozen there. Am I keeping insight for the elite bow? Yeah, I really want to make insight in an elite bow. That'll be like my goal here. So we have this and this. Thank you, Daddy Bezos. Mm -hmm. Don't forget to resub if your prime sub has expired. Thank you, Daddy. So being able to resummon that Valkyrie now in hell is quite nice. Zero DPS. Our DPS is definitely going down. This is something that, you know, we talked about would happen just because, you know, that's just going to happen, right? Like, we're in hell. We, we still have this exceptional bow. We really need to get up to that elite bow. So finding ourselves... That bow will be very nice. But our damage is still okay. If we did go back, it would be nice to go back and, uh, you know, farm more in Nightmare. That was something I talked about again. Isn't a bow with amp damage on swap useful? Yeah, but it still has to, like, actually hit. It's still gonna be a whole ordeal. So, it's alright. I mean, we're looking for our elite bow. We can, you know, pop corpses and do whatever stuff while we do so. But, it's just going to take a tiny bit. And I would say our DPS isn't ZDPS, but it is low with potential. See, there's a diamond bow right there. Like, it's good enough that we can actually still kill things. Yeah, it's like 10 DPS, you know? Like, we're still able to lay down the shots, get the kills, whatever. But it's not an experience that is quite in the super pleasant range. Oh, that's nice. What's the level requirement, though? 65. 104 attack rating, 7 life stolen. And 10 fire res. So that is... An upgrade. I need a key. Dun, dun. So, you know. Finding that elite bow, if you can find an elite four open socket bow, making an insight in that right now will be godly. If you find yourself a Bereza, that is also a solid bow to use. Um, definitely a nice boost right there. Uh, there's probably a couple other bows that will also be decent to have along the way there. Um, but that's nice. But really, there's a. Let's see what we get here. I'm mostly just gonna try and teleport through here, especially with the physical immunes. Oof. Bob Dole, thank you. Come on. Yeah, she has some horrible teleframes. That is for sure. Mm -mm -mm. So... Yeah, I mean, again, you could farm, like, some of the Maggot Lair, but with these physical immunes, it's really going to be a huge nightmare. So you could kill, like, the other pieces, you know. All right, here we go. We got this. We can, like, 
fire down range if you really want to try and like kill those guys. It'll take a little bit and be annoying, but technically a possible thing. Oh, good dirt. What do we have in here? Scolders and a claw. Oh yeah, I should have put scolders on for the Andy kill, huh? That's all right. Uh, gotta make room for stuff. All right, let's get rid of the chips now. That there, that there, that there, that there. And there it is again. Okay. Yeah, Duriel's gonna be a thing. It's gonna be rough. Now, he should still be buggable, technically, right? I don't believe they fixed it, so... It'll be annoying, but... I think it still technically will work. But that might be a bad thing for a guy to play through because not everybody will be able to do it. I try not to do things that are like that in guided playthroughs. Unless it's like an easy one that everybody can uh, copy. Yeah, I mean the damage is still okay for real. It's really not absolutely terrible. Speedrunning playthrough series? I mean, I've done kind of similar. I have a how to speedrun. Whole series on it. It is old, but... It'll get you the basics, at least. Oh, thanks, dude. A little long to kill these guys, but... Has Di Diablo Mo Mobile improved with updates? It can't, to me. I mean, again, it's... A pay-to-win game that is like really a you know it's a mobile a mobile game just not not gonna be anything I'm gonna <laughs> go back and play and everything and that's the thing the base game you know I think didn't actually wasn't actually like terrible but when you throw all that in there it just yeah, I'm never gonna like give it a positive review, you know. Recommend it. <laughs> yeah, so predatory. I mean, it was a mobile game. It was what all of the mobile games are, you know. If they paid me a few grand, I'd go play it again and Whatever, for a little bit of time. But, <laughs> I wouldn't still be singing its praises. <laughs> nah, that's gonna take it too long. Yeah, and then I'd burn through it real fast playing the game anyways, right? How would you compare D4 Barb to D2R Barb? I mean, I think they're a little similar. I liked it, though. I like the D4 Barb. Yeah, they, they were struggling on that one, Mark. The SC stands for StarCraft. My favorite class in D4 was, I probably like Barbarian the most, 
Necromancer second. Sorceress third. Druid fourth, rogue fifth. Sponsor. Sarah, let's go. There's still people that play StarCraft, but RTS overall, you know, is much more of a dead genre. But yeah, it does alright. Alright, let's see what we got. First way for the money. Okay, not first way. Why not live for Rogue? I just tried her like three different times and I never could get into her. I just didn't. I just didn't like it. Plain and simple. I tried and tried. Everybody loved the Rogue. I couldn't do it. It wasn't for me. Well, you can buy the levels. That's the that's the thing, right? You can buy tier skips. That's that's too nasty. Help me. Sorry we don't need to go back into that whole more. discussion. Love your streams. Oh, it's all good, Dark. Long before people go back to D two. I mean, I think there'll be a lot of people that'll still go back pretty fast after. The thing is, it's not Diablo 2, right? And it's funny because everybody says, you know, y'all just want a D2 clone. But it's very much more Diablo 3, right? There's a lot of Diablo 3 and Diablo Immortal, like, within it. So, I, I did always find that comical. Um, so, it's not Diablo 2. So, there's going to be people that just want to play Diablo 2. And Diablo 4 is not really for them in many ways. I still think they could actually enjoy playing through the story. I, I do think that, like, the playthrough of the game, if you take it as kind of a fun experience to go through, um, will have a lot of fun merit to it. But I think when they get endgame and stuff, and again, I don't have enough experience there, so I'll have to, like, play more and see more. Um, but I imagine there will be, you know, it's just going to be a difference for some people. Oh, oh, that's scary. Come on. That didn't look like it, but maybe it was. So this is also just like a nightmare spot for this character. Resistances matter. I'm in hell with a fanaticism zealot with all max resistances, and he's chugging along. They do a lot better when they got max res. All right. Let's see if it's the fourth way or if we fifth weighed it. So, yeah, I mean, we can, like, sit here and clear our way through, right? Obviously, it'll take a little bit of time. The problem is ghosts are physical immune, and so that's going to be a big annoyance. And even these Hell Clan are going to take a little bit of time to really, like, knock down and stuff, so... Yeah, you know, so it's like, like I said, you, you can, or you can just kind of teleport. Uh, I don't think D4 will kill D2R, but I do think there will be some people that move from, like, D2R to D4. But I think the game is different enough that it's not going to, like, kill it, you know? Alright, it was a fourth way, per usual. All right, so hopefully you did not fourth way and you made your way through. And now we can head towards Mr. Duriel.
If they don't change their battle pass, it potentially could have the tiniest amount of pay to win. Which won't even be pay to win that many of you guys will feel. Because it won't affect a large portion of people. But, there could potentially be a small place where someone could put money in and gain advantage over some people. And that is, you know, even in the smallest form, pay to win. Now, they said they don't want this to be a thing that exists, so I think they're gonna, you know, work, work it out. Alright, not there. Let's see if it's, like, down below us. Doesn't look like it. Alright, we'll check the up. Yeah, I mean, we'll see, we'll just see how they, how they do it, you know? How it ultimately goes. Make sure you don't run out of teleport charges, by the way. That can always be pretty deadly without even uh, realizing it. Okay. Let's uh, try and clear out this room a little bit. It's a little spicy. This is where having that Valkyrie that we can summon really helps a lot. And the decoy as well is also helpful, so... Honestly, having the combination of those two is quite nice. But, this is, uh... Tough, you know. Cleared enough. Okay, so, of course, with Duriel, what do we do? Hello. Yeah, Judo, but it's... Uh, there's a whole thing. We buy ourselves Thaywing potions and chug them. Everyone we chug is another 50% resistance. For 30 more seconds. You can't get like 100, 150, 200 or whatever. But now we have like, you know, 12 minutes of an additional 50% resistance. Which is great. I'm also going to move that over and we'll just grab some more mana potions to start. Yep, the time is cumulative. And let us prepare for Duriel. Now the nice thing is, our Valkyrie should hopefully be okay strength against him. Where we can pop these guys down. And you can see, there you go. She is strong enough, I'm gonna stay out of this freeze range. And so she can take a hit or two, which is really nice. If she'll get in there. Also, our, our uh, decoy is taking a ton of hits. My decoy is actually amazing here. So, we can just let the decoy do the work, honestly, if we wanted. The Duriel bug would be where we get him stuck. So he keeps running into like a wall. It's pretty hard to, to do, honestly, I feel like. And not worth trying when this is pretty easy just having the decoy and the Valkyrie. Do I plan to mix D4 and D4 in my life? So my plan is when D4 drops, I'm going to play Diablo 4. I'm going to try and grind through Diablo 4, play through it all, um, get the whole experience of it, see what it's like, yada, yada, yada. Um, and then we'll see from there. 
Okay, I hit 100, whatever, we've done all this stuff. Is the game now, like, still fun to continue? Do I want to keep continuing? You know? If yes, then I will go continue. If no, then, well, there's a lot of good stuff in Diablo 2 to come back to. So, we'll just have to see. So, like I said, if we only were doing like we did before, where we were creating the Valkyrie just on hit, this would be such a worse fight. But this fight is actually pretty... pretty chill now. Because remember, Guided Air always hits, so that's nice. Yes, our damage is a little low, but between the decoy and the Valkyrie... We don't have to worry about him constantly charging us around. If, if we're just trying to get a proc every time, that would be a nightmare. Right. So, so much better this way. But I still would love to get myself that elite bow. And that's something that we could go look for in the lower Kurost. But if Diablo 4 is actually good, well then we'll play Diablo 4 a bit and then I might end up doing some sort of, you know, back and forth between the two. Play some D4, play some D2R. I imagine if D4 is like really good, like I am playing D4 and I am loving it, it'll go like this. I'll play Diablo 4 on season launch, I'll play for like the month, I imagine then I'll get tired of the season. And I will switch into D2R for a couple months until the next season happens, where I'll then go back and rinse and repeat. How many left on my grail? What is it, like eight? It is an honor to serve. So that is my assumption of how it'll play out. Let's also go and grab our scolders. And let's grab our mercenary. He's gonna get popped. But maybe I can like keep him far away and we'll like he won't charge over to Duriel. He probably will and he'll die though. Alright, mercenary is dead. Perfect. Just as expected. <laughs> All right, piece some gold. <laughs> Favorite class in D4? Barb and Necro. I, I liked them both, but Necro, I really only liked the Blood Necro. Bone was okay. Summon felt bad. Go Stars. And some of the other stuff felt weird as well. Do I like PD2? Yeah. Okay. Skulder's time. Big money drops. Saigon's helmet. Or Saigon's boots. Darn. Alright, well, we've got a mesh belt. Glowing orb. Get some money. More javelins. Regardless. Act two is complete. Give yourselves the clap. Thanks, Mr. B. Hello. You have uh, beaten El Duriel, as they say in Spain. Mm -hmm. Good to get a tiny bit of money there. And get the war javelins out. Why not? can also grab some thawing potions just to have in Act 3. Those can be really nice. I dabbled in Spanish. Alright. 
So now we're in Act 3. Again, really would love to just find a bow. Going back to Nightmare Cows could be something like that we go do just for a fun try and see what we can drop. I don't hate the idea. These suckers are awful, which is why we bought some stamina potions, because dealing with those guys is just a nightmare. Right, let's see what we can get. Perfect, spider cavern. Just found wind force today? Nice. Yeah, wind force would be great. High requirements though, but Great otherwise. Is Mistbow any good? It's actually nice. You're probably not using it on this character exactly. Ooh, that looked dangerous. That is dangerous. That might aura. Ooh, I don't like it. Okay, so sometimes you just get really The frames are so bad. Oh, it was the mana, because I had mana potions in here instead. I was like, why did I not drink a rejuve? Okay. Hopefully it's uh, less crowded here. Yeah, it's lava and speak. I'm glad you've been enjoying. Got a couple of fetishes. And let's see. All right. Let's kill our way in here. We've got them distracted enough, so that's good. Uh-oh. Alright, rush in and grab the eye. Perfect. Alright, we're good. Don't need to stay uh, for all that. We can just continue. Again, go as fast or as slow as you want and need through these areas. Kill some fetishes. Why can't you grab any of those potions? What? Oh, it's fully blocked there? Are we gonna do any hell LK runs? Yeah, we might do a couple. Okay, let's do this, this, this. Grab that for some gold. And keep going. So this is probably the Great Marsh, but... Yeah, it's Great Marsh. 
Maybe TP. I'll definitely show everybody LK runs. Um, you know, how many we do will be... I, I don't want to just burn all the time doing them, but it's good at least to show everybody that they exist, what they are, and what they can do, um, you know, to get a variety of things, because there is a lot of good stuff there. Kudak! Thank you very much for the prime sub. Excuse me. All right, so we have a flared jungle, most likely. Well, uh, maybe, but seems likely. Yes. So that's nice. And we can put Valk in the front, decoy in the back, and to help ourselves out. Okay, now flare jungles can be great for experience as we saw before, but also be just absolutely terrible in uh just the like time spent Hello. trying to do it and if you get really like rough that's nice we'll sell that later mobs and things so we will try and go through at an okay speed but try not to get trapped As that would be deadly. And we'll leave a TP for safety purposes as well. Shadow Bow. But it is white. So, Shadow Bow's not bad again it is a white bow and it can get five open sockets max we would just want four open sockets max so you know that's tough i mean we're at 150 decks so getting to 188 would be you know something to do for sure it wouldn't be easy by any means but that's not bad 25 light res with 64 attack rating. We could go here. We'll lose a little bit of attack rating for sure. But gaining 25 light res, I think, is worth it for now. I'm going to say that's a, that's a trade we'll make. So the Shadow Bow, unfortunately, I think is uh, just Seven a no-go for us, though. That's a lot of years. Woot. Smiley face. But for hype, hopefully. Hopefully. Thank you, Dr. Skittles. Wow, seven years. Wait, you have the rainbow, that means. Yes! Rainbow llama. Oh, I forgot to get arrows. That's what I was gonna do. Dr. Skittles taste the rainbow. Love it. That's crazy, man. Ow. <laughs> it makes sense for you to have the rainbow. I wish you could have had it earlier. Did I leave a TP in there? I don't... I'm not even sure I did. Let's just leave one right here. Okay. Let's go find a waypoint. Okay, we have pretty good damage against the, the birds, actually. Possessed is always annoying. Worth the wait. 
Nice. Alright, we leveled up again. Could either put another point in Valkyrie, or we could put... Oh boy. This is going to be a little scary. Put another point in multi-shot. I think we'll go Valkyrie. I think we're, we're good to just keep pumping that. I think there's fanaticism over here, so... How was the dinner with the D4 guys? It was great. Had a lot of fun. And we'll go a couple more there, and the rest vitality. Yes, there is. Mm, stone skin, but he has fanaticism, so I have to kill him. Big mistake to leave him. It's about right. I can't carry anymore. Okay. I am overburdened. Okay. Got curse here, so we do need to be careful. I mean, we're we're getting especially being, you know, a little under the level to that point where we really need to be pretty uh, particular about all of our movements and actions and we can't just fly through everything. Again, this is a different style than you are going to see with your sorceress, than you're going to see with your trap assassin, than you're going to see with any of those. You can make some moves here and there, but overall, you are not going to have the, uh, luxury there of just murder everything whenever you're feeling dangerous or in trouble. See what we got. No waypoint here. All good. I like multi shot more than I like strafe because strafe keeps you stuck. Right? You're having to like stand in the position. Now, strafe does have more damage, especially if you max out multi shot and strafe and guided arrow but that's also a lot of points because i'm also wanting to max out penetrate i'm wanting to put points into valkyrie here and so i don't really think i have all those points even so to me i think multi is the preferred way but as you get higher level, no, this, you know, I mean, a lot of people use strafe and like strafe as well, I will, like, say, so. Alright. I don't have a cannot be frozen source right now. That is uh, definitely... Multi-shot just feels cooler as well. I completely agree with that. I always feel like super awesome when I'm using multi-shot. Yeah, and you get the wide spread, the narrow spread. So you get, you get a lot of options. Are there any streamers that make Diablo content that I follow or watch sometimes? Yeah, I mean, a lot of them, honestly. I feel like you could go check out most of the Diablo streamers and I've watched or follow, you know, I follow them and watch their content here and there. 
So, there's really, I mean, a large amount. It just depends. Are you looking for Diablo 2? Are you looking for Diablo 3? Are you looking for, um, you know, content around, like, lore and this? Do you want in-depth content? Do you just want... And there's, it's, it's hard to say because there's just so many... So many people. Any people I really like? I really liked watching Three Moth. He doesn't he doesn't make as much uh, D two now. I feel like. What would this bring from the right but he was someone I always really loved uh, watching. Um, Riker's always a great source just to grab a quick like YouTube video. Like I love his YouTube videos. Get all the source and information of what's going on. Yeah, I have an exceptional bow. Macro's got a good sense for a lot of like D2 intricacies, which is really nice. He likes to like dive into the stuff, but he's gonna be switching to like exclusively D4 now, so I'm pretty certain. Um Yeah, I mean it's it it really just there's a lot. Cooley, if you want all the PvP, he also has fun YouTube videos that he's been doing a lot with. The Dean's got fun, fun stuff. It's, I just need to have like a whole list and kind of what everybody does. More Riker collabs. Go witch doctor, see what he gives us. Nothing really. Sorry. Alright, another piece down. So we're just trucking along, man. That's great. Replenish our arrows. Back to the flare jungle. What do I need to roll the shadow bow to try and get four open sockets? What runes? And Hi, Mr. El Lama. How are the girls? Just that doing? whole recipe. Thanks, Kruber. They're good. Amral. That's it. All right, maybe we'll give it a roll. Ooh, that poison hurts. Alright, we'll give it a try. Why not? Shadow Bow. Ral. Oh, don't tell me I have no Amruns. Really? Under gloves. Oh, there it is. Whew. Ah. All right. Well, if it rolled four open socket, it'd be great. Two open socket, you can make like Zephyr or something. That's just at this point Hello. not working. Yes. So, but that's nice. You know, we can always just give our uh, shoot our shot, right? Had to do that many times in life. And eventually we made a baby. So, you know, sometimes it works. Family friendly? That's talking about family. I don't know what you're talking about. Literally is family. Money, money, money. All right, and we have made it to the lower Karast. And as we discussed before, this is a wonder spot. As you can now come in here and players eight or player seven would probably be slightly better so you don't get, you know, maybe you have a chance to survive in a tiny oh. bit. 
and just pop all the poppables. Every chest, every skeleton, every, if you want, all the baskets, every log. Pop them all. Scotty baby, thank you. This is a place to find it all. Now, there will be a lot of low quality and damage and things like that. Um, that's just going to happen. But we also have these chests in here, which are your super chests, which have great chances for jewels, for gems, for runes. You can get up to a burr rune uh, from these right here. Now, bringing a key with you can be good. So you can open those. You can always go and just buy a key. Or I'm sure you, we could find a key right here. Also, if you need money, great place to just get things to sell for money. I can't right? You're like, oh, a gnarled staff? That's worth money. And you can just do this as much as you would like. Every corpse, every weapon rack, every basket and hollow log and all of these things, you can just pop them. And eventually, not only will you find, of course, these things, but eventually you will find yourself what you are looking for. Oh boy. Bro, he one-shot it. Which a lot of times will be that weapon or whatever. So like I say, it's just... There's so much. There's so much that you can that you can snag here just by doing this. And you can rinse and repeat as many times as you want. Aw, thanks, Bloomy. Welcome back for a quarter of a hundred. Diaper funds incoming. Thank you, Chong Li. Appreciate that. Man, diapers. She is burning through diapers. She poops so much. Also, a great place to pick up a ton of charms, which really are helpful, right? You get charms with attack rating, with resistance, with whatever. That is just, like, so good. So, this is a, uh, a fantastic place for, for finding all of that. But yeah, just run around and pop everything. I would love an elite bow, especially if it's not like crude or low quality or whatever. But we'll see what happens. There's a ballista. Alright, didn't get on this try, but you can just go again. That's the beauty of it.